Seven Days Rebellion in song, and this song, The Ballad of James Connolly, is something that's been with me all my life. A great crowd had gathered outside of Kilmain and their hills lay uncovered. They knelt on the ground. For inside that grim prison lay a brave uh, soldier, his life for his country about to lay down. This memorial commemorates the 14 men who were executed in that prison. James Connolly was the last man uh, to be shot. He was taken from Dublin Castle in a, an ambulance and brought into this prison. He couldn't stand, so he was put into a chair and a stretcher and put against the wall and there, and that's the manner in which he was executed. And I've always recited this poem. Um, it was say, the feelings of one of the British soldiers who shot him in 1916. He was from Wales. He was only a young man who thought being sent to the uh, and conscripted into the British Army, he thought he'd be sent to Europe to fight against the Germans, but he found himself here in Dublin. He knew nothing about uh, the history of why he was being sent out to shoot a dying man in a chair. And these are the feelings that he expressed. The man was all shot through that came today into the Barrack Square. And a soldier I, I'm not proud to say that we killed him there. They brought him from the prison hospital and to see him in that chair, oh Christ would call him to prayer. Maybe, maybe I don't understand this thing that makes these rebels die, but all men love freedom and a spring clear in the sky. I wouldn't do this deed again for all that I hold by as I gazed on my rifle and his breast, but then, then a soldier on. But they say he was different, kindly too, apart from all the rest, a lover of the poor, his wounds ill-dressed, he faces like a man who knew a greater pain than blows or bullets ere the war began. Died he in vain? Ready, present, and him just smiling. Christ, I felt my rifle shake. His wounds all open around his share of pool of blood, and I swear his lips said fire before my rifle shot that corset lead, and I was picked to kill a man like that, James Connor. Now that's a beautiful poem. It was written by Liam McGowan, and I often felt that uh, some of the words in that are so true about James Connolly. He was a, a man of uh, extraordinary uh, capabilities. And during his short life, indeed, he touched so many people around the world with his commitment uh, to raise the standards of his people. So when I come to Kilmain in prison here, I remember the, the wonderful dedication uh, that these men showed to the cause of our freedom and liberty. And 